Hi everyone, welcome to activity two on the smartest giant in town. Now today we're going to be looking at using a suffix. Now we've not looked at this in school before, so this is a new idea that we're going to learn today. Now before we get started, I'm going to explain what a suffix is. Can everybody say the word suffix? Can you say it in a whispering voice, suffix? Right, so what is a suffix? A suffix is a group of letters that we can put at the end of a word to change what that word means. So, for example, we start with a root word. So a root word is the word we start with. So I'm going to start with the word small. That's my root word. And I can add a suffix to the end to change the word. So I can go small, er. Uh. I can add the suffix er uh, to make it smaller. So one of the suffixes we're going to look at today is er. Uh. It's a e, er, er, okay? So if we've got our root word small, just like we had a minute ago, we can add er uh to the end to make it smaller. It changes our word from just small to er. Uh. And we use er uh when we want to compare two things. So I'll show you an example now. So if we've got this cat, this cat is small. The cat is small, but there's a little mouse. The mouse is smaller than the cat. Can you see how it's the same word small? It's our same root word, but I've added the suffix er to the end because I want to say that even though the cat is small, the mouse is smaller. So why don't you have a turn at adding er to the end of these words, okay? So we've got the word tall, we've got the word short, and we've got the word quiet. Can you think what those words might change to if you add er onto the end? So have a think. Let's see, right, if we take the word tall, that's our root word, and we add er to the end, we get taller, taller. And you might say that my older sister is taller than me. The next word is short, short. So that's our root word. And what happens if we add er to the end? Short, er, shorter, shorter. I am shorter than my sister. I've used the word short. I've added er to say that I'm short, but I'm shorter than my sister. And then the last word, quiet. If we add er to the end of quiet, what word do we get? We get quieter, quieter. It's a bit like when I say, you are quieter than a mouse. It means that a mouse is quiet, but you are even quieter. I'm comparing you to a mouse. I'm saying that even though a mouse is quiet, you are even quieter. Now, another suffix we can add is est, and that's the one we're going to be focusing on the most today. Now, if I've still got my root word small, and I add est, what do I get? I get smallest smallest. When we add est, we're saying that something is the most. So when I say the smallest, I mean something is the most small. Now we see the est word a lot in our story, don't we? We've got the smartest, there it was, giant in town. And he starts off as the scruffiest. And then he's the smartest. And then he's the coldest. Then he's the comfiest. And last, but by no means least, and probably most importantly, he is the kindest. They all have the est suffix because we are saying that he is the most scruffy. He is the scruffiest. Then he is the most smart. He's the smartest. Then he is the most cold. So he's the coldest. And then he's the most comfy. He is the comfiest. And last, he is the most kind. So here we say kindest. So let's look back at our example. We've got our cat and our cat is small. Our cat's got the root word small. But our mouse is smaller. We've added our er suffix, haven't we? To say that the mouse is smaller than the small cat. But then we've got an ant now. And the ant is even smaller than the mouse. It is the most small out of all of them. So we say it's the smallest. Right, now it's your turn for some examples on your screen. Okay, so we've got our words. We've got the word tall, we've got the word short, and we've got the word quiet again. 
So if we've got the word tall and we add est to the end, what do we get? We get tallest. Well done. That tree is the tallest tree I have ever seen. That means it's the most tall. Then we've got the shortest. We might say that the pink cube tower is the shortest tower because it's the most short. And then quietest. When we add S to quiet, we get quietest. You are the quietest class, which means you are the most quiet. You've now got a worksheet that you can have a go at. You've got some adjectives down the side and you've got to add er to change them. And then you've got to add est. Have a go and good luck.